Hello and welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is Lauren Tekna and in this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to optimize your Instagram so that your ideal clients or ideal followers start following you right away. So first, we're gonna look at my Instagram account and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done so that I make sure that the people who hit follow on my page are people who are actually going to engage with me, like my photos, comment on my posts, and then also potentially even direct message me and ask me how they can start working with me. So we're gonna dive straight in looking at my profile and then after that, we're actually here at a live event where I'm gonna be doing Instagram audits in the flesh. And I've even created a free Instagram bio checklist that you can get, it's the first link in the description box below and it's going to include examples from some of my best students inside of my online program so you'll be able to see the most optimal bios from people who are actually getting real clients off Instagram thanks to them having changed their bio and changed everything that they're doing having worked with me so yeah make sure to download that anyway let's get into it so as we go through this you're gonna see my Instagram profile here and I'm just gonna have it right in front of me in person right here so the first thing to know is the username. So you can obviously see that I'm building a personal brand based on my business. So I just use my name. Now I actually first started out in the fitness industry. So back then my username was Lauren Fitness on Instagram. Now that was cause that, that made my ideal clients interested. They wanted to follow fitness accounts to help them get fit and healthy. But nine times out of 10, I honestly just advise using your own name. But if you can't have your name, maybe there's no availability for it, someone's already using it, then you want to just put a keyword in your name that will be attractive for your ideal client. So a great example of this is Danny B Photography. So Danny is behind the camera right now. Hello. <laughs> and Danny is a photographer and a videographer. So she has photography in her name because then she knows that when people see her profile, they're gonna immediately know that she's a photographer so they're gonna be more likely to book her. So I've gone on a tangent here because I was supposed to be only talking about my Instagram for now. But that's something that Danny has done with her username. But again, nine times out of 10, I recommend you just have your full name. So the next step is your name field. So you can see that I write personal brand business mentor. That's because I help people build a personal brand online business. So this is searchable. So when people go onto Instagram in the search bar and they type personal brand, I am much more likely to come up than if I just have my name, Lauren Tickner that. In fact, if I just have my name there again, it wouldn't come up, right? I already have my name and my username. I don't need it again. So you don't either make the most of this field. You have 30 characters. These are searchable. So you've got to think, what is my ideal client typing into Instagram? What are they searching for? Maybe you are somebody who does vegan fat loss recipes. So instead of writing in your name field, Lauren Tickner, instead write vegan fat loss recipes. And then people are gonna know exactly what they're gonna get. And when they're scrolling through, looking for someone to follow, you'll see here that in that quite light gray text, it actually says what it says in your name field, okay? So you wanna make the most of that, please be sure to do that. So next step is the Instagram bio. So you want to really make sure that you have an impact statement. So an impact statement is I help mm, achieve mm. And in this, you wanna focus on the transformation. So you can see that I say, I help coaches and creators turn their personal brand into a profitable online business. When your ideal client or ideal follower sees this sentence, they want to be like, yes, I need to follow her right now. So if a coach or a creator comes onto my page and they want to build a profitable online business, they're gonna follow me. Cause they're gonna see this and be like, damn, that's cool. Now you may have also noticed that I actually use a different font. Now there's just a website. I literally typed in like font changer on Google and I found this website. I'll leave it like linked down below. It's amazing. You can just copy and paste words into it or just type into it and you can get this cool font and it stands out. It looks a bit different and it is appealing to people and people are more likely to actually go ahead and read it. So the next thing that I have in my Instagram bio is I have my podcast. So if you have any major publications that you've been featured in, maybe you've been featured in Forbes, maybe you've been featured in NASDAQ, like I have, Entrepreneur, maybe you've been featured in Men's Health, Women's Health, whatever, write that in your Instagram bio. But only if you have space after you already have your impact statement. The impact statement is the most important thing here. And then right there, I tag my podcast at Impact School and I make it clickable because you can now have clickable handles in your Instagram bio. So definitely do that. If you have any brands that you're tagging in your bio, take them out now, please. You are giving your precious space away to the brand. They're probably not even paying you. If they're paying you and it's in your contract, then fine, but I still would advise 
promoting your own brand instead. Then below that, you can see that I have a clear call to action. Click here to watch my free workshop to scale your business to 8K plus per month. That is what I have in my bio. Strongly advise having a lead magnet in your bio. But that is a topic for another day. So if you want to start learning all about sales funnels, and if you want to learn about the importance of having a freebie that relates to your email list, comment down below because an email list is so important. Because remember, just a few days ago, Instagram wasn't working, neither was Facebook or WhatsApp. People freaked out, but I was okay because I have my email list. So I sent an email to my email list and I told them, hey, go sign up to my brand new Impact Through Influence Incubator program. And just because of that, I was able to close 25k in sales. So anyway, one more thing that I want to know about the Instagram bio that I don't actually have, but is an I save statement. Okay, so this positions you as the rescuer. This positions you as the guide. So you're the person who's helping someone get from here to there. You're essentially the bridge in between the two. So for example, I could have I save corporate warriors from working a job they hate through building a profitable online personal brand based business. That, that's what my I save statement could be. So this is a new concept that I came up with that I'm teaching my students inside of the Impact Your Influence Incubator. I think you should try it as well. Put it in your bio, make sure you have an impact statement, an I save statement, and yeah, that's that. I mean, I don't think there's any need to have any brands in your bio unless you own it. This is your place, this is your opportunity. You're the expert here. You want your ideal clients to look at your profile and be like, whoa, I need to follow this person. They're gonna be able to help me so much. They know what they're talking about. Yep, let's go follow now. Now, I am verified on Instagram. I have a YouTube video about how I got verified that I'll leave link below as well. So many links always in my description boxes. But I'm actually going to record a video that talks all about how being Instagram verified has helped me get more clients and to actually yeah like all the benefits that have happened since I got verified because there's actually been quite a few and I'm, I'm pretty excited to tell you about it so yeah if you're excited about that video hit that thumbs up anyway I've really spoken fast and kind of quickly but you need to know impact statement I save statement now let's go into the room let's show you the before and afters of the Instagram profiles and uh, yeah let's get some audits done I'm basically gonna just audit all of your Instagram profiles and then I'm also, before we do that, I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I'm gonna literally rip your Instagram apart, break it down, to make it perfect for your ideal client. Danny, let's start with you. Ah, no. DC dynamic. Oh, God. Okay, so I wanna give you guys a bit of context, right? So if your Instagram profile is just fluffy and if it's what you think makes you look cool it's pointless right you want your instagram profile to be perfect so that when an ideal client comes on your page they find you somehow they're like whoa i need to follow this person this person is awesome so that is essentially what i'm gonna ensure that you are set up with by the time you exit this room right because james and i are all about giving you actionable steps and strategies that's what I live and breathe for. I hate it when I go to an event and I don't get anything out of it. I hate it when I listen to a podcast and I don't get some actionable value out of it, which is why I'm so committed to giving all the actionable value, no matter what. So, with that said, there are a few things to bear in mind. Obviously, this is just for focusing on Instagram, but I do also want to tell you that I think it's important that you do have another platform. First things first is to note that in your bio, you want to, okay, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, start with your username okay so i think that your username needs to change yeah i think so too like it's not clear dc yeah. dynamic pt what does that even mean <laughs> like what does that actually mean yeah. so what why don't why is your username not danny chianta i don't know is my name not too complicated no no it's different okay. it's, it's different, different. Okay. It's okay. cool, I like it. It's you. Have a name that no one Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, that username, when you have a username like DC Dynamic PT, yeah, I get that you're a PT. Yeah. But I'm your ideal client. I don't know what a PT is. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what a PT is. Yeah. So if it said, I don't know, Danny underscore, Danny underscore fat loss, mm -hmm. then fine. Mm -hmm. Because there's a there's a keyword in there yeah. which is targeted to your niche. Yeah. But DC Dynamic PT doesn't mean anything. So yeah. fine. 
Okay, so obviously now that you're going to change it to Danny Chianta. So you're going to change it to Danny Chianta, but then right now in your in your um, name field. So this here is the name field, right? You guys see that? That's actually searchable. So when people go into Instagram and type in fat loss, Danny might show up, right? Because she has that in her name field. So a lot of you right now, you may not already have that in your name field. You may just have your name. So you're missing out on a really, really key vital space, which is this SEO, search engine optimization. Instagram is still a search engine because people go in there and they type things, right? So you'll see that, I don't know, let's just go, I don't know. You can see that I just have personal brand business mentor. Yeah, because my name's already here. And so I know that when people type in personal brand on Instagram or if they type in business mentor, like I want to show up. So that's just that. Right, so with that said, um, next step is you obviously have a personal trainer and online coach. That's fine. I'll teach you how to transform your body without giving up your favorite foods. Fine. Free ebook. This is amazing that you have the free ebook linked in your bio with that clear pointing down arrows. But like, what is your ebook? What is it? Like, what does the ebook teach me how to do? Yeah. It's not clear. People aren't gonna click for no particular reason. So, how about we do this? You say, wanna lose fat? Question mark. Click here to download this free ebook. Free ebook. People really just need to be told exactly what to do. Yeah. Otherwise, unfortunately, they just won't take the action. Does that help? <coughs> yeah. Massively. Perfect. So right now, I can see that you have your impact statement because you've done impact your niche. I help women raise their metabolism and get their dream physique for life. Awesome. Perfect. So that's great. Uh, that's exactly what people want because you're you. you're highlighting the transformation. I help women increase their metabolism. Like people in you in your impact statement. People really want to know what the transformation is that you're going to help them achieve. So you're using that word raise. That shows me transformation, right? You should, it shows that there's going to be a change in what their life is right now. Um, so that's awesome. In here, I would put like, um, I don't know. Uh, well, it could be like fat loss coach. You could yeah. just put like fat loss coach in there. Um, yeah, I think also women, like any type of women in particular? Young women? Young women, yeah. So maybe we could go with young women? Um, so like, I don't know, fat loss coach for girls. That's what you could write, like, female fat loss coach. That could go in your, um, in your name field. Ready to get sustainable results. What does that mean? So I think that what you need to do in this case is here you need to have a, a link to a lead magnet. So that's in online fitness business school. We teach you how to create your lead magnet. Um, then what you can have is you can have like what Danny has in her bio, the link to that freebie. So I think that would be the best first step for you, as well as changing this mm -hmm. and writing like young women here. But other than that, I think it's great. I think we can also change these highlights. Yeah. So they I all never, have. I never go around to changing them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I admittedly need to do that myself as well. But like your feed and content is really good. So um, I think it's just like really making it clear like that you are actually a coach. Because right now when I come on your page, I don't know that you're a coach. Like I really, really have no, no idea. I, I just think you're a fitness it. influencer. I don't even talk about it. Right, because to me, you just, yeah, you look like you're a fitness influencer. Um, so yeah, the first thing that like, I really need you to change this and then let's work on your lead magnet, get that done ASAP, like post it in the Accelerator Facebook group and then we can all check over that for you and give you feedback on that. Um, but it'd be good if you could get that done like ASAP because once that's done, then we'll have much more chance of getting new clients. And then you can send that to people in DMs, you can announce it in your Instagram posts, you'll get tons of people sign up fast because you've obviously got a good following. So. so I hope you've taken away a lot from this video. So what I need you to do right now is I literally want you to go ahead, go over to your Instagram, make sure that your username makes sense. Ideally, it's your name or it's your name plus a keyword. Second thing is that you need to have your 
a searchable term inside of your name field so that's super important thirdly make sure to click the link down in the description box below which gives you a free instagram checklist i finished that this week i think it's about eight pages long overall it doesn't just give you the checklist there's also i think i think it was five bonus tips and then one extra bonus tip so there's a lot of value in there for you so definitely go click the link down below grab that because yeah i mean it's an awesome freebie and i spent a lot of time creating it for you the next thing is that you need to have an impact statement in your bio then after that you can obviously have your i save statement and then obviously your content needs to be looking good but more tips in that in that checklist so yeah i mean the event was super fun you there was a whole entire vlog which there's a little button here that you can go watch that vlog which has, is a day in the life from that day and then right now just on my way up to london to a meetup which is going to be super fun and that's a whole entire vlog that's coming as well so make sure you've hit subscribe if you haven't done so already i'm really back in the back in the whole mojo of vlogging and all that fun stuff so yeah let me know what you'd like to see next i hope this has helped you optimize your instagram because if your instagram is optimized then there's more chance that you're going to be found by your ideal followers you're not going to be having like let's say you're a fitness coach you're not going to be having all these other fitness coaches following you you're going to be having actual ideal clients following you who are going to engage with your posts and yeah who are going to potentially become customers from you in the future so with that said thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one bye